Hey, I'm Joel. Uh, I've just whipped up this uh, sort of 90s style orchestral string synth thing. I don't really know how to categorize it, but um, I'll give you a quick audio demo and then we'll try to recreate it. Uh, I've got it running through a send track, a big uh, reverb, just the cathedral preset in Ableton. Uh, it's also sidechain, the rever reverb and the synth are sidechain to the drums. So yeah, I'll just play around with the master cutoff here as it's playing. Let's have a listen. So yeah, obviously a random genre change there, but I think yeah, it's kind of good to show that it can be used for some different sort of things. I, I you know, I picture like an old school sort of hip hoppy vibe here, and then sort of into like a trancey vibe. Um, but uh, yeah, let's try to recreate it. So let's go to a, a new copy of Xenology Pro by Roland. Oh yeah, that's what I'm making the patch in, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll get initial tone here. So just click here and make sure you're on all, and then you hit initial tone. So it's gonna sound like this. No, it's not. It's going to sound like this. All right, so let's just play around with the first partial here. We'll get it sort of up to scratch with the filter and everything, and then we'll copy it to the other ones, the other three partials, and then add a noise generator here. So on the first one, we'll just select uh, VA here, and we'll choose the ramp wave, which is kind of similar to a triangle, kind of similar to a saw, somewhere in between. Uh, so it just sounds like this by itself. I'm just going to play around with the fat control here. It's pretty rem reminiscent of a um, saw wave. But yeah, we're also going to play around with the pulse width here. This is just a taste really, just do it sort of however you like. And I'm going to send the pulse width modulation depth to LFO2. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to rapidly change this. Uh, yeah, so we'll send it just a little bit to LFO2 and you won't, it's pretty subtle. So what we'll do is we'll go to the LFO now on partial one here and tempo sync it and have it on quarter notes. Uh, so if we listen to that again, we might change the LFO a little bit. We'll change it to a sine wave and we'll offset it slightly. Um, let's just play around with it and see how it sounds. Oh, it's so subtle. Uh, that's just purely to, to taste that one. Uh, next we'll change the filter. So click filter here. Uh, and then uh, we'll set it onto the Moog filter. It's nice and fat. And we'll bring the cutoff down to like just above halfway. And that way, when we change the master cutoff here, when it's fully open, the sound's going to be fully open. When it's fully closed, it's going to be pretty much inaudible. Oops, if I play it, that would help. going to bring the envelope depth up here and we're going to add some envelope to it so basically what it's going to do is it's going to start the filter open and then very quickly it's going to bring it down about 93 here is about the value you see at the top there it says 93 um, so if we listen to that now cool it's coming along uh, so in the amp EQ here, we're going to bring the release up just a touch. Uh, keep in mind too, in the MIDI clip, I've got the notes legato, so they're all running into one another. If we were shorten those notes, I don't think this is going to sound very good straight away, but let's have a listen. 
But the reason I'm keeping it legato is that so when I open this filter, it keeps it, uh, it, the the note sustains for the whole time. Uh, but when it's shorter, you got that sort of yeah, as uh, that sort of dead um, that, uh, filtered saw wave sort of sound. All right, so we're gonna add mono as well. Um, we're gonna add unison on a little bit, legato and portamento. Make sure you bring the portamento time down. To really subtle the unison detune here play around with it um, see how it sounds bring the unison size down a little bit and we'll add a little bit of analog feel I'll, I'll add a lot so you can hear what it does sort of that analog detuning so just a little bit of that and maybe a little bit more portamento, portamento time Uh, also, um, this is a bit CPU intensive, in intensive. but if you go to menu here, you can uh, change the voice limit. So I'm going to change the voice limit to light because we, we're going to have a little, um, a fair bit of stuff going on. So that just means that it doesn't limit the voices to save CPU as much. If you have it on heavy, it will it will limit how much you're hearing to save CPU. Um, but yeah, let's just leave it on light because I don't have much going on. Sounding pretty cool. That adding the, without the portamento, and then with it, it's got that little whoop sort of sound. Um, yeah, cool. All right, so that's that's the first partial done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the first one to sort of we're gonna, basically we're going to copy and paste it so all the filter settings and everything's the same. So go to Pro Edit here, down to Utility, Copy Tone Partial One, and then paste tone partial two and paste tone partial three as well so we're going to go just into partial two here uh, we're going to go back to visual edit mode and we're going to change partial two to a sawtooth ah super saw sorry so with them together Yeah, it's sounding nice. And then partial three here, we're going to pick like a string sound. So your oscillator or you can have partial selected. Um, in PCM here, we're going to click the name there. We're going to go string solo and uh, violin B sounds pretty cool. And we're going to change the pitch of that really subtly on LFO one. So I'll, I'll show you what it that sounds like drastically. Obviously not what we want, so just really subtle, so that's just going to change the pitch up and down rapidly. Sounds pretty cool. We can change the um, tempo at which that's happening, uh, so I'm going to turn off tempo sync so to keep it on time instead, so if we just listen to that. I'll bring the amount up a little bit of the LFO so you can hear it better. Obviously, it doesn't sound very musical, so I'm just going to keep a subtle amount there. Again, just do it to taste, however, whatever sounds cool to you. All right, that sounds nice. So now with all three of those together. Remember, because we copied and pasted the first partial onto the others, all of the filter settings will be the same. So that's kind of nice. Uh, what I will do though is in amp slash EQ, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the first partial just with a slight little bit of attack. So without the attack, with the attack, just a really small amount. And I'm going to do the same for the string as well because I feel like that's maybe more lifelike, but it just kind of sounds really cool. So subtle uh, without it and with it. This sort of takes the attack off um, off the note, so it's not like dun dun dun. It's more like I don't know it kind of eases in for that moment of a second. Uh, so if we add, uh, I'm going to keep the second partial just as is. So all three together. Nice. Now for the finishing touch, 
I always like this with these big sort of um, synth sounds, especially they fill up a large part of the spectrum and sort of, you know, your headphones or speakers or whatever. I'm just going to make this one a noise generator. So it's going to be quite loud. So if we just hit amp, amp slash EQ here, the bottom one here, we'll bring the level of that white noise down. So without it, with it. Just adds a little bit of subtleness, a uh, little subtle white noise in the background. It just sort of fattens it up a bit, especially as you open the filter, you'll hear it more. So I'm just going to bring the release up a little bit, but keep it a little bit less than the others. I think I'm actually going to use the same filter for that. So we could either do it manually here and just try to get it the same, or what we could do is go to Pro Edit here and hit Filter. So now we've got all of the data here for the different partials, one, two, three, and four. So I'm basically just going to look at partial two because it's got the initial, the attack. Remember, we took off the attack a little bit on the um, partials one and three. So I'm going to copy partial two essentially. So in pro edit here, we can see partial two. So I'm going to cut, uh, take all of these parameters here and just mimic them over here in partial four. So the filter cutoff is uh, five, five, nine. Uh, that's the same. That's the same down here. So this is the M filter envelope de depth, not death, depth. Bring that up. And then uh, we'll bring the decay on the filter envelope here, the same as this one. They're all the same anyway, but 93. And yeah, that's that's it for that. Oh, that's going to stay back on zero. Sorry. So now if we listen to that. Cool, that's sounding pretty nice. So the main thing, I, the only really effect I ran on it is the um, uh, return track reverb. So I'm just going to send that to the reverb. And I'm actually going to uh, just take off the side channel just by stopping the other tracks. Now, if we play around with that master filter. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you could do a bunch more to it. Uh, you could add uh, either external to Xenology Pro or internal in Xenology Pro. We could add some master effects on there. Like we could add a, a nice big chorus on it. Uh, lots to choose from. Let's go Juno Chorus. It's going to be pretty aggressive. <laughs> could compress it a little bit as well uh let's add a glue compressor on here so yeah you've got that noise because that's the classic juno chorus there maybe we'll just add a regular chorus on there yeah. and you can hear that just fills up the stereo field massively so let's um add a glue compressor here we'll go a pretty short attack and a longer release so the compressor kicks in straight away and then sort of releases slowly and we'll bring the threshold down a little bit. Our 
I'm not a master of compression, but that sounds kind of nice. Subtle. Uh, excuse me. We could add some overdrive on there as well if we wanted. Um, I'd probably do that before the chorus, but let's just try. See how it sounds. Uh, am I missing something? No, overdrive. There we go. Um, I'll add it more after the compressor. Sorry if I triggered anyone there, but let's try it. Yeah, subtle. Um, yeah, you could do a whole bunch of stuff with this. Take a little bit of EQ, take out some nasty frequencies. <laughs> out the real dirty low end yeah that's that's it forget to save it so let's go right initial tone 90s big synth demo big synth d that works um also if you want to put it into a category here see it says no assign the way you do that is in pro edit I'm just going to take the master effects off and increase my zoom again um in here if we go to common i believe uh, here we go, category, no assign. So, uh, I don't know. Ensemble strings, maybe, or a synth pad, synth poly, I don't know, whatever category you want to put in there. You could have two, in, you could have two saved in different categories so you can find them easier. You know, if you want one saved in like the, is there an ARP section? No, yeah, maybe one in like the pad strings, one in some kind of other section. Anyway, yeah, but that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>